There's the whistle from the referee, Eric Salba. Away we go. St. George FC. The away team in the most nominal of ways this evening, going from right to left. Quilligan, decent first touch. And he shoots. It breaks for Danaskos. He shoots and it's in. Troy Danaskos with a shot that was too hot to handle, literally. The St. George captain opens the scoring. Seventh minute. Sydney FC nil, St. George FC one. But he's, uh, definitely has what it takes to play at this level. Early cross from Quintal and dealt with at the near post end. Is that going to go? And it is. Well, it was an almost impossible angle, but somehow Sydney FC have scored. Capitalizing from Thomas Brown, not completing the clearance. The ball had just stayed in play. Allowing Thiago Quintal to turn, also winning the throw in for St. George. Box it goes again, and uh, I'm not sure who got the final touch. And Brissette can't get round Rodic. Uh, well, that's promising, and the long range effort is pushed wide by Axford. It was McAllister, Sydney's goal scorer for this evening. Look, and, look him up on Wikipedia to see what I missed. As the corner comes in, Jones heads away. Now, long range effort is decent. That's another. Save from Axford, two strong hands to prevent Tyler Williams from scoring. Fryer outside of the foot pass. Big overlapping run from Bowell. A decent ball. Thomas Brown. Uh, Cantal on another run. Great drop of the shoulder now. McAllister could be in. Bravery from Axford as I think the flag stay up. It stayed down from Matthew Harris. Now Will Kennedy got the shout from Cantal. Uh, Quintal, decent effort, and it swings less than a yard or so past that far post. Had Axford on Oscar. the other side of the field. Now, Fryer. As Oscar Fryer tries to turn the heat up, finds room for a crossing opportunity. It's a great ball, and then, well, glanced at his watch. Grozos floating it in, and the header, Zavadinos catches it. There we go. There's the whistle for halftime. It's all square as the team head Teams head into the dressing sheds. Sydney FC won St. George one. FC. It was the Saints who opened the scoring by a thunderous shot from their captain, Troy Danaskos. And the equalizer, that was in the seventh minute, and the equalizer came about 90 seconds later, I think. Yeah. Mateus McAllister scoring from an almost impossible angle. Now, Aiden O'Shea hasn't given up on it. Quilligan has the open player. Danaskos, he shoots. It's about a yard or so, possibly two yards. Numbers. Middleton. Quintal. Quintal. He shoots and it's off the inside of the. And no, oh, this might loop over the keeper from a long way out. Action now in front of those Sydney FC fans and that drum. Cross comes in and makes its way all the way to the back post. And Grozos is stopped by a wonderful save from Zavadinos. That's why you get goalkeepers to work on their footwork. Four free stands of the Rock concert. That's good. Anyway, corner coming in. And, oh, at the far post. It's the finish. Mateus McAllister, I think, has done it again. The man in the green boots is leaving St. George FC green with envy because he scored twice. And from 1-0 down, Sydney FC leading by two goals to one. Clearance, but it worked out as a pass. And Casawire charging down the left-hand side. How much ambition does he have? Cuts inside Rodic. Could be a big opportunity for a third. Casawire shoots. And it's saved. Now the Sky Blues. And Rodic. Oh, sorry, Mike. Rosos has given away the free kick. And a glance at the watch from Eric Salba. Followed by the full-time whistle. It's Sydney FC's first win since round five. They've defeated St. George FC by two goals to one. And Mateus McAllister is the hero with his match-winning double.